Hey, how are you? Good? That's fantastic. Because today we have another video. Yes, of course, it's it's Sunday, so that means it's fun day, which means it's video day, which means today we have another topic, and today's topic is another action camera. So recently I did a review on a camera that did things for action. They had some slow-mo, they had some 4K footage. It was pretty good, I'm pretty excited about it. But today we have the big brother, yes. That was not as exciting as I had thought because we miscommunicate. Let's try that again. And yes, we have the big brother. Ow, it's an action camera, get it? See that action, it was being thrown. Anyway, so today in front of me, we have the Akaso action camera V50 Elite. Yes, not the pro, this is the, the this is the elite. This is the top dog of of Akaso. So there's a lot of similarities, but there are a lot of differences as well. I will point out the key ones, of course, in just a second, but let's take a look at the box. And they make these things child proof, but today in preparation, I have a Kniffy. So let's take this apart. Okay, plastic off. And let's take a walk around the actual box itself. So of course on the top here, you have the camera itself. It's got a few more buttons. It's got a more intimidating lens if I don't say so myself. So top camera. And at the bottom here, <laughs> Akaso Action Camera V50 Elite. Yes, voice controlled. I'm interested to try that out. Um, look, this is gonna be you. As soon as you purchase this camera, it's a guaranteed, you're gonna be surfing like this guy. No, it's not, don't. So native 4K, 60 FPS, electronic image stabilization. If you watched the last review, this is a big, big feature. Waterproof up to 131 feet within the case. So that's another one of the big differences. Of course, the remote is splash proof. On the other side, you're gonna go through some of the key features here, 4K, 2K, 1080p, 720p, touchscreen, zoom, Wi-Fi, and like I just said, waterproof up to 131 feet. That is, that is, that that's deep. And in the back here, you're gonna have a lot more specifications, some more specifics in terms of that video features that we are also interested about 4K 60 FPS. So that is the biggest difference between the Pro and the Elite. The Pro had 30 FPS at 4K, this one has 60, so double the frame rate. 1080p is gonna have up to 120, 720 is going to have up to 240. So you got a big variety of frame rates to choose from. A lot of slow motion is gonna be going on with this camera. That's the box itself, let's pop in here. Let's reintroduce you guys to this actual camera. It's of course very familiar to the Akaso V50 Pro. I did a lot better job taking this out because I brought the knife and here we are. So this is what it comes like. Of course, I should have probably taken the camera off the mount itself. As soon as you open the box, you're gonna be greeted by the remote and a whole bunch of clips and attachments and cables and adhesive pack, zip ties, camera backing, microfiber, a feedback card, very important. Anyways, so it's not like a massive watch that you're gonna have to put on like the other one, which is, which is a nice touch. But yeah, like I just said, a lot of attachments do come with the purchase of this camera itself, so you're not gonna have to go and kind of sprint to Best Buy and get what you need. A lot of the things come with it. Um, but one of the best features of this whole camera is not only the camera itself, but the actual mount. They all fit on GoPro mounts, which is huge. So all the accessories that you can get for GoPro, guess what, you can clip on the Akaso. It's just such a versatile way to kind of, it's something that the cameras have to do. If you start going proprietary, you're gonna have problems. And of course, the best way to test these cameras out is of course to use them. So I'm gonna go meet up with a few buddies and have some good old Canadian fun. I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. And then we're gonna talk about it. What'd you get out of here? You're too cute for the camera, okay? Okay, yes, that is right. We're gonna play some hockey, some good old Canadian fun here. We're gonna be testing out the Acaso V50 Elite. Yes, look at that, see that? We've got tape on mounts, on sticks. We're gonna have a blast, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see what this thing really can do. All its frame rates, all that fun stuff. So let's just switch over to the Acaso. Whew, I'm out of breath, but let's switch it and we'll have some fun. Stop following me!
Okay, with all that fun we were having, there's the one feature I did not try and test out. It was one, the remote, but more specifically the voice activated control. But let me give you an example. Essentially, I gotta press that red button, I say what I wanna say, and uh, it works. Button! What was the word? Action record video. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is recording with your voice. <laughs> so there are many applications where this will actually be useful. Say you've got a thick pair of gloves and you just kind of button smash, or say you're a little bit further away, you want to use the voice, want to have it on the wrist at all times. All these options are there for you. It works, clearly. I'm still recording. Look at that. That's the cameraman right there. Anyways, I will see you guys back at the office. Well, that was fun. It's always good to go out with the buddies and, and play a little bit of puck. There's only a couple of us, but it was still a good time. And we had the chance to play around with the Axel V50 Elite. Um, you guys saw the footage. What did you guys think? I'm pretty satisfied. Keep in mind that this is an under $200 action camera that will give you 4K 60 FPS. Like that is absurd. The video quality is pretty good. The image stabilization works fantastic. I'm very satisfied with, with what actually came out of this thing. Is it a huge leap from the V50 Pro? No, the main differences are kind of minor in terms of kind of using it day to day. The 4K 60 FPS is of course the biggest one and it worked, it was buttery smooth as you can see. I'm generally very, very, very happy with this. The only grief that I did have was using these buttons when navigating. It got to a point where it was just way easier for me to take this thing out and just start using the touch screen. That, that is fantastic. That touch screen is fantastic. Using these buttons did get a little complicated and especially with the hockey gloves and all that fun stuff, I just popped this open and started using my thumb. It worked fantastic. But yeah, let me know what you think of the footage that you saw. Um, I highly recommend this, especially at the price point that it's at, under $200. That is such a fantastic price point. Again, thank you Axel for sending this out and letting me play with this thing. It was a great, great time. I'm a very big fan. But for now, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. For additional brownie points, please follow me on all my social media. Links can be found down in the description. But for now, thank you, and I will see you on the next one.